Hi guys, Amazon DynamoDB Streams is a really cool way that you can capture a record of modifications to your database. So things that are added to the database, things that are modified, things that are deleted. So what happens is you have your DynamoDB table and you enable a stream for that table. Then when an application updates an item in your DynamoDB table, a record of that is actually sent to DynamoDB streams. That information can then be used in all sorts of ways. So in an example here, a Lambda function can be triggered. So there's an event source mapping and when an update is added to the stream, Lambda gets notified, the information gets passed through to Lambda about what was in the stream and then it can do something. For instance, in this example, we're simply writing a log into CloudWatch logs. There's lots of other use cases. So for example, you could use it to create another table from the data. So you might have Lambda actually read that information and write it into another DynamoDB table. So you can keep a record of the items that have been updated. So DynamoDB Streams captures a time ordered sequence of item level modifications and it can store them for up to 24 hours. Applications can then access this log and view the data items as they appeared before and after they were modified. And that's almost real time. You can also use the create table or update table API operations to enable or modify a stream. There's something called the stream specification parameter, which determines how the stream is configured. So it can be stream enabled, specifies whether a stream is enabled, true or disabled, false for the table. And then there's stream view type, and this specifies the information that's going to get written to the stream whenever a data in the table is modified. And these are the options. So for instance, you can record the keys only, so only the key attributes of the modified item. New image, which records the entire item as it appears after being modified. Old image, and that's the entire item as it was before it was modified, and then new and old images, which is both. So these do come up in exam questions, so make sure you understand that. You can keep a record of only the keys of the modified item. The new image, if you want to make sure that you record the new version of the object, and old image if you want the old version of the object, and then new and old if you want both. So what we're going to do now is go straight into a hands-on lab, and we're going to actually enable this configuration. The first thing I want to do is go to IAM, and we're going to create a role. So I'm going to head down to roles, I'm going to go create role. The service is going to be Lambda. Click on next. And then I'm just going to search for Dynamo DB in here. And I want this AWS Lambda Dynamo DB execution role. And let's have a quick look at what we get. So we can see that we get Dynamo DB describe stream, get records, get shard iterator and list streams. And then we get to also write to CloudWatch logs. So that's everything we need. So I'm going to call this DynamoDB Stream Lambda and choose Create Role. So that's done. Let's head back to the console. And on the overview page for my, my store table, I'm going to choose Manage Stream here. And this is where we get to specify which view type we want. Now I want new and old images. So I'm going to click on Enable. And then we can go to Triggers and create trigger. And so we can create a new Lambda function here. And this takes us straight over to create a function. And I'm going to call this Dynamo DB Stream Lambda. And I'm going to use an existing role. And I'm going to search for that role that we just created. So there it is, Dynamo DB Stream Lambda. I'm going to come down to trigger. And it's going to set up a trigger, so I'm going to choose my store because that's my table. And the rest of the settings can be the same. And then I'll choose enable trigger. And we can see that it's got some code here. And all that code is going to do is write an entry to CloudWatch logs with the information of the record that was added to the DynamoDB stream. So let's go down and create function. So that's it. It looks great. We've got our Lambda function. It's been successfully created and configured with my store as a trigger. So let's go back to DynamoDB, refresh, and we've got our stream enabled. 
and our trigger enabled and we've got no records processed at this stage. So we're going to change that now. We're going to process some records. So back in Visual Code here, I'm going to open up another file that I have and that's add update order.json. So if we just put that in, you'll see that there's two items in here. One's a put request to update an existing item, john at example.com. And what we're going to do is change the color of the t-shirt that he ordered to blue. And then this one is a new entry, so this one doesn't exist at the moment. So this is going to create a new entry in the database. So back on our commands, I'm going to go back up to the top here, copy this command line, and then I need to change the mystore.json to addUpdateOrder.json. So I'm just going to clear screen here, and then let's backspace this and put in add update order dot json and so that should add our entries and that's completed successfully so heading back over to dynamodb let's click on refresh and we've got an okay so that means that the last result actually did something and it's okay so i'm going to head over to cloudwatch logs and i'm going to go to log groups and here we go we've got our stream so let's go in there and let's see what's happened so we've got several entries here we have undefined info loading function. And then you can see a bit further down, we've got info insert and then the record itself. So the record that's been inserted, this is the new record, is joseph at example.com. A bit further down, we have a modify. And so let's open up this record. And because this is a modification, we can actually see the new image and the old image. So we can see that the color in the new image is blue and the color in the old image is red. So that's how we can keep a record of information in CloudWatch logs. Now, of course, in reality, you might do something a lot more interesting with this, like processing that data and storing it in another database or keeping a record in some way. Maybe you'd log it in a format to S3. So that's it for DynamoDB streams. It definitely comes up on the exam. So just make sure that you're familiar with how it works and the differences between those different view types for the keys, the new image, old image, and new and old image.